Welcome back to Brick Break. In this video, I am keeping it simple. I am just going to recommend you five really, really good non-fiction books. Three of these books are by Patrick Radden Keefe, so I'll start with those. Patrick Radden Keefe is an award-winning investigative journalist who's written exposés of some of the biggest scandals of the last few years. Stories that you almost can't believe. For example, The Snakehead, which is about the surprising criminal Sister Ping, a charismatic middle-aged grandmother who turned out to be running a multi-million dollar human smuggling operation, all from a noodle shop in New York's Chinatown. She was arrested in 2000 and eventually sentenced to 35 years in prison. And in this book, Patrick Radenkeefe dives into the whole unbelievable story, from the inner workings of her operation to the decades-long FBI investigation that finally brought her down. And he also explores the stories of immigrants desperate to come to the US and the myriad of ways that they are exploited. Empire of Pain by Patrick Radenkeefe is about the Sackler family dynasty and their role in the opioid crisis. So if you watch the shows Dope Sick on Hulu or Painkiller on Netflix, this is the story behind those shows and it is truly terrible and unbelievable. In the book Patrick Radenkeefe explores all the ways that generations of this family have benefited and made unimaginable riches from making and marketing a drug that has killed nearly half a million people. And the book reads like this family saga, it's like watching a series of succession, it's absolutely extraordinary but it's true and they really got away with this. And just one more recommendation by Patrick Radenkeefe. In Rogues, you get 12 stories for the price of one. This is a collection of 12 profiles of grifters, killers, rebels, and crooks. And all of the profiles are written with Patrick Radenkeefe's trademark humanity and meticulous research that really brings these people to life. Let's have a look at some examples. A whistleblower who dared to expose money laundering at a Swiss bank is either a hero or a fabulist. One of the stories is about the quest to bring down a cheerful international black market arms merchant. And there's a passionate death penalty attorney who represents the worst of the worst. So this book is just full of stories that, again, you almost can't believe. Moving on to a new author, I've got here Bad Blood by John Carreyrou. So this story has been back in the news a lot recently because this is a book about Elizabeth Holmes who was sentenced to 11 years in prison at the end of last year and this book dives into the whole extraordinary story of the massive rise and even more massive fall of Theranos, which was Elizabeth Holmes's company, a multi-billion dollar tech startup that seemed like it was going to completely revolutionise the medical industry, but it was a fraud. The technology didn't work. And I think Elizabeth Holmes herself, at the heart of this book, is one of the reasons why this story has got quite so much attention, because she's such an interesting person. A lot has been made of the fact that she herself was not who she seemed. She even was revealed to have been disguising her own voice. It's just such a fascinating story. And recommendation number five is The Pyramid of Lies by Duncan Maven. This tells another incredible rise and fall story, this time of Lex Greensill, the Australian financier who set out to reinvent supply chain finance. And bear with me because I don't know what supply chain finance is either. Lex Greensill is fascinating because he was a billionaire, he owned private jets, he thought he was going to be knighted, his office had a suit of armour in it, but most average people had never heard of his company until it collapsed in early 2021 and exposed a massive multi-billion dollar scandal that nearly brought down the British government. Global CEOs, Swiss bankers, politicians, former Prime Minister David Cameron were all drawn in to this story as it was revealed that Lex Greensill had been granted access to the inner workings of the British government, had been granted special favours from people who thought he might make them rich, all while taking increasing risks with other people's money and putting tens of thousands of jobs at risk. So it's another story that you have to read to believe, the meteoric rise and fall of Lex Greensill, but also it looks globally at the grubby world of shadow banking. So five really good works of narrative non-fiction telling stories of shady characters, absolutely fascinating stories. 
I would love to hear your recommendations. If you've got any books like this, do write them in the comments below and I will link here to a playlist of all of my other non-fiction recommendations. So you can click through and get plenty of ideas for what to read next and I'll see you next time.